Hello Bafang M500 and M600 fans. Today we're going to adjust the speed on an M500 motor from the default 25 km an hour setting. So if anyone's used the best tool before they'll know that it's a little bit finicky. So if we have a look at the HMI tab and we do a read you can see that it brings in all the information including the serial number no problems at all. And the same thing if we try to do a read function on the battery, for example. It brings in the serial number and the model and the software version, the hardware version, no problems at all. However, when it comes to the controller and the controller tab, it actually doesn't read all of the serial number information properly. And I think part of the reason for that is because it's bringing in all of the parameters uh, for the controller, so the battery volts, the current, the speed, the, the cadence, and they're all live values and they're being read all the time. And it's just like there's no time to bring in the model and the hardware and the software version and the serial number. And unfortunately the serial number is exactly what you need if you want to write the speed. So on occasion you'll find that if you do do a read it will bring in the serial number and if this happens that's great. You can set the, the speed however you like. But it doesn't always happen this way. If we tried to read again the serial number might not get pulled in. So I'll just quickly run through and show you exactly what happens when you don't have the serial number read correctly. Uh, it doesn't matter how we set the speed limit, the wheel size or the circumference. When you try to write the parameter it just comes up with an error saying that the serial number isn't available. So what we can do is we can go to the update tab where we would normally update the controller firmware and in this particular case it does a read absolutely no problems at all and it brings in the serial number straight away. So if you copy that and then paste it back into the controller tab into the serial number field after having done a read that brings the information in. Now the trick here is to make sure you click off of that field so you know click software version or click hardware or something like that. Now you can scroll down and set the speed limit on the controller so you set the speed to whatever you like, you can set the wheel size to 27.5 inch or 29 inch set the circumference to whatever it is for your particular bike um, and as I said before if you want to increase the speed to 30, 35 k's an hour do that and this time when we hit right because the serial number has been populated it will retain the setting. It does make a note that it's in over and above the legal speed limit but that's just a warning. So that's how you use the best tool to configure the speed limit on your M500 motor. I hope you've found it useful and good luck and happy riding. Cheers.